Okay, I think that's recording. All right, um, just wanted to do a quick video, um, book review here of the latest book that I just read. Before I have to take it back to the library, I want to be able to actually show it and feature it on here. Um, some people may have been curious about, there have been, there's been a lot of talk about this book. It's been a lot in the media and whatnot. So here's just, you know, my perspective on it after having finished reading it the other day. Um, the book I'm, I'm talking about right now is Veganist by Kathy Freston. Is, um, this book is another one of the books I've read of pretty much about veganism and she calls it veganist because um she explains that a veganist is pretty much just somebody who's really interested and in, interested and intrigued in all things vegan which i kind of like that because i kind of consider myself somewhat of a veganist anytime that i see something in the news or on a website or pretty much anywhere that relates to anything vegan i'm like oh my ears perk up i gotta see what it is you know i want to know more about that as being you know, a member of the vegan community or whatever. Um, so this book, um, I liked it. I, as far as in terms of the books that I have read so far related to this topic, I honestly, I don't know if I, it's just different than some other ones. I, I don't know if really Skinny Bitch is probably my favorite. Although, I don't know, The Kind Diet by Alicia Silverstone is way up there, too. I really liked that book. And that was one of the first, like, vegan-type books that I read. Um, those were really good. But this book, um, the thing that makes this book unique that the other books does, don't have, that do make, that really does make this book worth reading, even if you've read some of the other vegan books, is the spirituality in it. This book talks about... You know, all the things, normal things that might be issued, you know, talked about in a book about this topic. But it kind of adds a little bit of a um, spiritual, not religious, don't get, it, don't get me wrong, it's not religious at all, but spiritual outlook on it. Which I thought was pretty neat and interesting. Kitty, what are you doing? Sorry, my cat's getting into stuff. As I'm making a video and she sees I'm making a video and sees that's a great time to get into stuff and distract me anyway this book um each chapter is labeled as a promise which is also quite unique um like promise one is your body will find and maintain its ideal weight effortlessly and it talks about how if you have weight issues or whatever that this would help and how a vegan diet is just naturally healthy and and good for maintaining a healthy weight for your height and whatnot so that's i mean that's interesting that aspect and i think it's interesting that she put that as the first chapter because that's something most people do care about because it's either you're watching your weight or you're overweight and you're trying to lose weight or even if you're not overweight most people still want to maintain a good weight i don't think a lot of people wake up and say man i just really really want to get fat right now yeah i don't think most people do that so i think it's interesting how um she gives some stories and also cites some uh sources from some different doctors and things of that nature on this and you know gives her own reflection on the subject Promise two, um, you will lower your risk for cancer, heart disease, and diabetes, and even reverse diseases already diagnosed. And um, this one, she just gets more um, information from doctors again as well, and discusses about how the health aspects of a vegan diet can you know, be good for preventing different diseases and things of that nature. So that was pretty interesting and definitely makes sense to be in there and she also adds again some stories that's another thing i like about this book she adds a lot of personal stories from people to it so it really personalizes it and also says you know it's not just me this kathy freston author saying this but these other people are saying this too or these other people experience something positive from you know what i'm trying to advocate so i do like that a lot 
Promise three, you will live longer and better. And she talks about, um, she mentions this woman named Ruth. And one of her stories was like in her 70s. And is probably more fit than most people are, even in their 20s or 30s. Um, especially, I guess, for her age. She runs marathons and is just a really huge athlete. And she's vegan, of course. And I think you even mentions where she had overcome illness and things like that. And... So she just show it. It's like really inspiring. Most people think, oh, well, as you get older, it just means you're going to deteriorate. And it's not necessarily true automatically. And there's a lot about that here. But a lot of it you can be proactive about and take control of yourself by your lifestyle, your choices, and your decisions. And this whole book's really empowering in that sense about just taking control of your own life and what you're doing. So. Uh, promise four is you will take yourself out of harm's way and it's just this is more about like um, pesticides antibiotics bacteria um, a lot of the foodborne illnesses that come with meat and animal related products and how you you know you make yourself a lot less susceptible to being a victim of these things promise five you will save money talks about how to live um, on a budget on a vegan diet and lifestyle which is always good to know for most of us if we're not rich most of us aren't so and that being vegan doesn't is not contrary to popular belief being vegan is not more expensive you just have to do it the right way um promise six you will radically reduce your carbon footprint and do the single best thing you can for the environment. Here, obviously, they're talking about the environment, the environmental impacts of how horrible um, animal agriculture is for the environment and for our planet and how um, how much you can really reduce your carbon footprint um, through a vegan lifestyle. Promise seven, you'll be helping provide food to the global poor. That one, I like really that's in there because a lot of people, when they think of veganism, that's not really the first thing they think of, like feeding the hungry, helping the poor. But it is a direct offset, like you are affecting that. And if everyone went vegan, you know, we could feed the hungry people in the world, literally. And a lot of people don't realize that and they overlook it. Even vegans might overlook it. It definitely was not the first thing, it's something I care about, yes, but it was not the first thing I thought of you know when i saw these animals getting tortured and i was like oh no i can't be part of this anymore i'm going vegan you know but knowing this it feels so empowering to know that you can make a decision that not only helps animals in the environment but really helps people too and and that's awesome and i love that and i just i just want to beat that in everybody's head because people just are so uneducated about this they just don't know and it just kills me but anyway this chap that chapter is really awesome because she really um, makes a valid point there that a lot of people overlook. Promise eight, you'll re you will reduce uh, animal suffering. Obviously, talking about the cruelty in the meat and dairy and fish industry, you know, seafood, all those industries, um, which we a lot of us already know, but some choose to ignore. She gives again. She gives real life stories. Um, she talks about where. Um, she gets stories from people, a lot of people who went undercover, including the guy from Mercy for Animals and um, some other nonprofit organizations for animal welfare, welfare and things of that nature. Um, she talks about a guy who grew up on a farm that she knew that, you know, was raised around where, you know, they ate meat and they killed pigs and stuff and he saw one get killed and um, ultimately eventually went vegan but I don't want to give the whole thing away but you know that's kind of the hardest chapter to read but it's obviously it has to be there it's probably one of the most valid because she talks about the impact um, that the standard American diet has on animals and also what um, we can do as vegans to improve that Promise 9, you will be following the wisdom of the great spiritual traditions. This, I like this because this is not in every other vegan book. Actually, I don't think it's, I've seen it in like really any of the other vegan books. Very unique. She talks about um, a religious aspect and not like in a religious bias type of way at all. She just follows um, all these different religions from Christianity to um, Judaism to Hinduism and Buddhism and Jainism and all these different types of religions around the world explains how 
they relate to and are permanent pertinent to this topic or to not causing harm to animals and things like that and it was very eye-opening for me because I hadn't really looked at all that in that way before and it made me feel even better about my vegan lifestyle because of it you know I'm not religious I'm just I'm just really spiritual but um if you it, it's a great chapter it really is even if you're not religious even if you're not spiritual it will open your eyes some and it definitely made me think so I liked that and Promise 10, probably my favorite chapter in this book, where it really, really makes this book what it is and unique and a worthy read, is you will evolve and take the world with you. And this day, she even goes into, she talks about how your mind and body are connected and how beautiful that is and how you, if you choose a life of not doing harm to others and of doing the best you can to not hurt your planet around you and then you nourish yourself as well and how how good you feel and how you can really even if you're not trying to just by people knowing you and you're just saying you're vegan it makes people think and you can actually have a positive influence on others part that i really really like about this chapter she goes and she talks about what i would think of for me as the, the total ultimate utopia of a vegan world and I know it's so far-fetched but to have somebody else think about this because I know I have thought about it in my head knowing how far-fetched it sounds but what the world would be like if we all just switched over to a new and different paradigm and and went to being vegan and how it you know everything everything would change from like you know, you go to the store instead of having meat in the aisles, you would have all these different cuts of tofu and tempeh and all these yummy, delicious, awesome things, and you know vegetables everywhere. And you know the dairy section, you'd have soy milk and almond milk and coconut milk and day and non dairy cheese and soy cheeses and just awesomeness. And how everybody, you know. We wouldn't be killing the rainforest anymore, and animals wouldn't be caused harm. Or um, maybe we could even reverse some of the ecological damage that we've done to the planet. Maybe our oceans could become clearer. You know, we have we could reverse. What if it reversed the impact on climate change and global warming that um, animal agriculture is currently putting on us and on this planet? Um, but I, you know, I don't want to give the whole thing away. I'm just saying that in itself. Like I read that chapter and I felt like, yes, this is right. This is a reminder that it's right, and it never hurts to think you can always dream, right? You can always dream of what the perfect world would be, because really, like a like a good band by Melon once said, you know, keep on dreaming. Cause when you stop dreaming, it's time to die, and. You know, Martin Luther King had a dream, and at that time, blacks being equals was like craziness. People didn't do it. So if that could happen, if we get enough people together for this. I sound like I'm preaching now, but just I, even if you've read other books like I have, I would say definitely take time to read *Veganist* by Kathy Preston. It's a great book, and it definitely puts a new and fresh perspective on veganism so check it out